Hey everyone, David here, and as you can see, I am inside Zoom, and I'm using an Elgato prompter. I have another camera back here to show you what it looks like from my point of view. There's my prompter with Zoom on the display, and it's really intended for DSLR cameras or webcams, but I have it working with my video bar just because that's my setup and that's how I have it working. And I'm really excited about this because this solves the one compromise with the Zoom experience, the one thing that Zoom can't solve with, with software, and that's eye contact. For over 10 years now, this is what I look like in Zoom calls. And no, I'm not exaggerating. You've been in Zoom calls. You know this is what we look like in Zoom calls. But if I was in a call with you and I had you on my main monitor, this is the experience. Not great. So what I've been doing is... I've been looking at a camera for 10 years. I'd like to look at you. I'm in a meeting with you. I've been staring at a camera. So now I have the best of both worlds. I can be looking at you in Zoom while making perfect eye contact. So I just posted an unboxing video of the prompter. And in one of the comments, someone said they were able to get the, the text up on the screen. They were able to use it as a prompter, but they had trouble getting Zoom up there. So let me show you how to get Zoom up on the prompter. So in Windows, you want to go to your settings. If you just type settings in your Windows search bar, it should come up. In Mac, you want to do whatever the equivalent is. And then when you get to settings, you go to system, and the first tab should be display and you should see something that looks like this and plug and play the elgato should be recognized as a display and it should be the smaller one you can see the number three is a little smaller if you want to be sure which is which if you click identify let me show you from the other view when you click this identify button it puts the number up on the screen so i know that the elgato prompter is number three now the next thing you want to do and this is what someone in the comments of my other video, they had a problem with this. It wasn't working because of this. The multiple display setting, set it to extend display, ex extend desktop, extend desktop to this display. That way it treats, it treats all your displays like one big desktop and you could just drag things between it. So you see, I have it set up here and you could move things around. If I want to put it to the left, I could, I could move it around. But I have it set up how I have it set up physically. So now I can just drag windows between these monitors. So to go back to this view, if I had, let me go back to how it would start. In a normal meeting, I would have Zoom in the monitor in front of me, and I would be giving bad eye contact. So to move it up to the prompter, all I do is just drag it like any other window and just <laughs> move it up to the prompter. And there we go. So now I'm giving eye contact while looking at the person that I'm in a meeting with in Zoom. While I'm here, I have three quick advanced tips for using Zoom with the Elgato prompter. First, in Zoom, go into the settings. You can click the little video tab there, video settings, and then go to the general tab and make sure use dual monitors is selected. What that does, it puts the video and screen share on separate windows. So if someone shares a, a, a spreadsheet with you, you're going to want it on your bigger screen. You could drag the, spread, the spreadsheet down to your big monitor and still have eye contact with the person on the prompter. The next tip is about where to place the prompter. I mentioned before when we were on this screen that I was considering having this over here on the left. So from this view it would be to the left of my monitor. Now, the reason I'm considering that is because then it would be at eye level, eye contact at eye level. I'm probably going to leave it where it is. I'm, I'm used to having my camera here. It's not a change for me. But if I had to recommend the ideal, perfect Zoom prompter setup, I think I would say get one of those Elgato mounts and put it either between your monitors or to the left of your monitor so you could have Zoom meetings looking at people at eye level, making perfect eye contact. For my final trick, let me show you how to use the prompter to put a text overlay, a script or notes or, or anything you want, over your Zoom video. So let's switch to this view here. If you've watched my unboxing video, you know how the software works. So we're gonna switch from display mode to text mode. And here I have my, my script and there this, there's this opacity slider. So let me show you from this point of view. Okay, so here we have the script up on the, uh, on the prompter. And if I drag the opacity slider, I can see Zoom behind it. So if I'm in a meeting with you, I would see you behind it. And it's it's workable, it's readable. I could see the person in Zoom, well, seeing myself now, but I would see you, and I could see the script. So this is what it looks like on the prompter. 
So if I was to click the play button and just start reading, hi viewers, I don't use a script for these videos, so I'm just typing anything here for the opacity demo. It's a pretty good trick. I like it. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let's go back to our normal view. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments how you're using the Elgato prompter, if you're using it with Zoom or, or anything else. And uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.